Today and I'm now five weeks out from my comp so I wanted to take you through a full day of eating and what that looks like for me at the moment. So I'm going to be on a refeed day today which means that I'm going to be eating more calories than what I would normally. So on a refeed day at the moment I've got an extra 400 calories to play with which is amazing because um, I am eating so well under eating each day at the moment with a good up to the comp obviously trying to lose body fat. So for me, throwing in a refeed day is really good just to keep my metabolism going and also trying to preserve as much muscle mass as I can at this time. So first thing I do in the morning at the moment is I wake up, I take some disgusting green drink. I, I feel that it's really important, especially as you lower your calories, just to keep your, your nutrition up. So having a, a shot of greens in the morning is a perfect way for me to do that. Supplement-wise, this morning I'm taking one amino free oil. I've got an L-carnitine capsule, uh, T432 by ATP Science, just to keep my basal metabolism high. So I'll be taking those four supplements this morning and I'll have a coffee before I train. I'll be training legs today, so I need all the caffeine that I can get. So they're my four sups, my greens, and I'm gonna be sipping on a bit of hot water just before I eat my meal. This is a real good trick, um, one I learned from ATP as well, from one of their podcasts, which I definitely recommend you go and have a listening to, they're, they're really, they're, they really know their stuff. So I just have um, a bit of hot water before I eat my meals, and uh, that just basically helps to increase all of my digestive enzymes and gets my body ready for food. So that's what my first, my first step of the morning looks like. And then for breakfast this morning, I've soaked my oats overnight, so I've got in here 80 grams of steel cut oats, a handful of goji berries, a tablespoon of coconut oil, one egg and a scoop of protein. So that's my meal, that's meal number one today and I'll show you what that looks like in a sec once I've heated it up. Okay, and here are my oats. So good. Hey guys, so we're just off now to have meal number two. I just trained legs with my coach, so I'm in, <laughs> in a bit of pain, so I'm gonna go and get a good feed. We're just about to head into a healthy fish and chips, would you believe? Uh, it's called Hunky Dories. So I'm just gonna go and choose wisely, obviously, because I am in prep mode now, but um, it's kind of like a bit of a healthy refeed slash sort of cheat meal for me, so I cannot wait to go in and, uh, and see what's on the menu and um, get some food in me, so that's the plan. We're at Hunky Dory's in South Melbourne. And I am about to feast. Hey, you guys have a minute? Yeah, please, great, thank you. So, meal number two today is going to be my dory. I've got two pieces of dory fish, uh, kale and spinach salad, and a lot of sweet potato fries. So, I cannot wait to dig into the smell. This is my post workout feed, so it's got everything I need, lots of protein, a good amount of carbs and some healthy veg. Oh, I love my refeed. Hey guys, I'm going to show you meal number three now. Just got back from having a massage and I sat in the sauna for 30 minutes. So this is my third meal of the day, just a bit of a snack. 100 grams of chicken in here, you can't really see it because it's a pretty full book bowl. Um, some broccoli, some zucchinis and about four ounces of sweet potato. And I'm also having a green tea with this as well. So that'll be meal number three today with a snack. So dinner tonight is something I prepared earlier. I've got chicken mince, so I bought a kilogram of chicken mince from the market cooked it all up for the week. I've got about 140 grams of lean ch um, chicken mince. Sorry, it's Carl's food going off in the background. Oh, Eggplant and some zucchinis. I'm keeping this meal quite low carb because I want to save a few carbs back for my last meal of the day, which is going to be a chia pudding 
and they've also just soaked me some oats so I just kind of fancy a bit of you know just save me a few macros for the end of the day today so this is what mil 5 looks like there you go lean turkey mints some zucchinis and eggplant and I'm going to pop some ketchup oh it's steaming up the camera some ketchup mustard and lots of salt and pepper on there you go and what are you having Kyle just cooking up some chicken and I've also made myself lots of baked potatoes. So I made a whole batch of those earlier. Um, so I'm going to have about nine, nine ounces of potato, some chicken, and then also Georgina's very kindly roasted some veg. Roasted some veg. So I'm going to steal some of that as well. So that's my meal for tonight. Keep it in. Nice and simple. Nice and so last meal of the day is going to be a chia pudding. So. During my comp prep, this has been an absolute saviour for me. It's a real sort of sweet treat that I like to have in the evening. Um, it only takes a little while to prepare, and there's only a few ingredients as well. So first ingredient, obviously, you're going to need some chia seeds. So what I do is I make up a big batch at the beginning of the week. So I'll put around eight tablespoons of chia seeds, probably about a cup of almond milk, some cottage cheese, PB2, and some peanut butter. So what I'll do is I'll basically soak the chia seeds in some almond milk for a couple of hours and it will turn out that kind of consistency so so nice and thick, okay? And then what I'll do in the evening is I'll just have well, a few tablespoons and then I'll add in about 100 grams of cottage cheese, a tablespoon of peanut butter and some PB2 just to give it a bit more of a, um, a thicker taste. And that'll be my evening snack. And it's around 200 calories, guys, It's if, if that, if you obviously you don't have to add the peanut butter, but I always try and save some fat for the end of the day so I can get away with that. So give it a go. It's, it's really um, cheap, it's really easy to do, and um, it tastes great. Um, so that, that concludes my full day of eating. And now I'll go on and show you an arm workout that I did on Sunday. So arms is an area at the moment that I'm really trying to target and lean down a bit before my comp. So I've got four weeks left to go. So I'm not gonna be able to gain any muscle in that time now, it's not realistic, but I would like to just to sort of turn up my arms a bit. So I'm gonna be training them twice a week. So I'll show you my current routine uh, for biceps and triceps. So enjoy that and I'll see you soon.